Hello, my name is Piotr Vnuk and I'm a deputy editor of Labels and Labeling magazine. Um, today I have a pleasure to have a quick impromptu chat with Mariana Delcheva, Avery Denison's product manager for Film Bames based in the Netherlands. Uh, we're chatting today to find out more about the most recent product release, the latest Clean Flake uh, label materials. Uh, Maria, it is um, a pleasure to meet you and thank you for taking time to speak to us with such a short notice. Um, Clean Flake technology is not new. It, it has been released in 2013. Since then, it won several sustainability awards. Could you start our conversation with explaining what is the Clean Flake, te uh, Clean Flake technology and why is it so crucial for PET recycling? Yes, thank you for having me as well, Piotr. Um, Clean Flake is a technology for pressure sensitive labels which enables the recycling of PET packaging specifically. So it's a technology that allows us to have a label which uh, looks and performs the same like our standard labels, but one which is designed to uh, be deactivated during the wash, the, the wash of the pet, so that it can uh, enable the recycling of the PET package. And does the whole portfolio offer the same properties as conventional label stocks? Yes and no. <laughs> um, so the, the Clean Flake portfolio is designed to, to look the same like a standard label while it is applied on the bottle. Uh, it would be available in a clear or a white label and it would look exactly the same like the standard label. Um, it would apply as well on a machine, uh, including on high speed labeling machines, same like our standard products. Also on the printing press, it comes now with our standard top code, so our uh, customers would see no difference in how it prints or converts on the press. However, uh, the difference is really uh, what happens after the label, uh, together with the package, is discarded after its use. Mm -hmm. uh, so that makes the biggest difference. The traditional label stock uh, would remain uh, stuck on the package. And then during recycling of PET, that causes issues because uh, most of these labels are polypropylene. They cannot be recycled together with the PET. So for the PET recycling, you really need a label which will be detached from the package in the wash. And that is really the crucial difference um, in Clean Flake that it enables recycling. Mm -hmm. So what do you think are the most important uh, benefits this technology presents to the companies manufacturing PET packaging? For the manufacturers of PET, um, some of them, of course, are also downward integrated. So they produce the bottles and they label them. So it's important that they are able to, um, to produce and offer good options to the brand owners. And um, I think it's very important for the brand owners to have solutions which enable recycling, especially now with all the design for recycling uh, mm -hmm. guidances and regulation. We see more and more um, deposit return systems being introduced in Europe, but also more and more um, extended producer responsibility, which means that for the brand, it's important to put products on the market which can be recycled because in the future, everything which cannot be recycled will be taxed with a higher tax fee. For the producers of the PET packaging, I think it's important to have a very good high quality resin, so high quality granulate from which they can produce. And for that, it's very important that everything goes smoothly at the recycler. So again, we go back to the point that you need a solution which will wash off cleanly um, and in addition, with this new adhesive, we really make sure that uh, as much adhesive as possible is staying on the face top so that it can be extracted very cleanly from the wash. And that results in very pure, high quality PET, uh, which is important for the producers. Yeah, it seems that we're getting closer to the circular economy model and reversing this high quality material back to the system. Um, you touched uh, very shortly about this already, but could you tell me uh, the next generation, the product which you were launching this week, uh, how is it different uh, from the product released in 2013? Yes, um, the product which we released in 2013, um, it's also called Clean Flake, but that was our, let's say, first generation 
it was originally designed for beverage. So with the expansion and the demand from more and more segments, uh, we, we see that it, it does have some limitations. Mm-hmm. Um, and this new product is actually really a product which has been designed to close the gap versus our general purpose, what we call offering. So the offering which brands in beverage, but also in food and home and personal care would be using from us. Um, the main differences are in the application, um, in the conversion, as I said, the top code is different. It's coming uh, back to our core portfolio, the same performance. Um, and of course the wash off. So we really worked on the new solution to make sure that the adhesive stays on the label and it does not contaminate the water at the recycler. And uh, you mentioned that the initial product was designed uh, for beverage. Does it mean that now uh, the application range is wider? It's much wider. Uh, The first generation, uh, it it had still quite good application and we do have already some application with it in uh, in personal care. But now we have really designed a product which has the same application properties like our standard product. So really much wider application range designed for high speed labeling machines, also more options. So with glycine liner, for example, in the food industry, still not many brands are using um, or co-packers are using pet liner. So it's also coming with glycine liner in order to enable the um, adoption and in all the different segments. And on, on that note, what would be your message as a product manager for CleanFlake? What would be your message to to all the manufacturers and, and especially brand owners uh, who might have just discovered this uh, technology? I would have two messages. The first one is that we are doing a step change. Uh, we are really closing the gap versus the standard products that they are used to having on their packaging. So in order to keep the promise of PET, which is mostly used for its recyclability um, and to keep the performance of the label, they can now uh, use this new portfolio. They don't have to choose between performance or recyclability. They can also do this step change together with us. And my second message would be that there is a lot of discussion um, everywhere on all platforms around the pet bottles, but we need to close the gap and we need to close the loop and, and have circularity of packaging, not just on pet bottles, And this is a product that can enable the recyclability and enable the circularity of all pet packaging. So my message would be, don't just think about bottles, think about all kinds of pet packaging because it can be recycled and it should be recycled. Uh, That's a great answer. Thank you, Maria. It it was a a pleasure meeting you um, and finding out more about this exciting development. Uh, Thank you very much for your time again. And I look forward to catching up in the future, perhaps to speak about practical example of using this technology in our industry. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. I would love to have another conversation where we share many success cases uh, of this product with you. Perfect. We'll organize that for sure. Thank you very much for your time, Maria. Thanks. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and make sure to click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You can see more videos from this playlist by clicking the video on the right or click the video on the left to see all of our other videos.